Hello, this is Amory Wong here, bringing you the donut problem for geniuses. Uh, if you're an AP pre-calc 12, you will need to know this question for AP calculus if you want to get into Harvard. All right, so let's start. Uh, the donut problem for geniuses. So a donut shop uh, sells 6,000 donuts per day at 80 cents per donut. All right. They will lose 4,000 C squared donuts in sales per day where C is the price increase in dollars. What price will maximize revenue rounded to the nearest nickel, okay? So what's going to happen is we're going to do not 81 cents, but to have 80 cents or 85 or whatever like that, okay? Uh, how many donuts will be sold to maximize the revenue? Uh, and then finally, what is the max revenue? So first we're going to write want to write out what everything is, okay? So we're going to want to say here, that P is going to be our price, okay? And then what we're going to want to do is just write an overall equation from which then we can graph. So we're going to want to say that the revenue equals the price times the number of donuts sold per day minus the donuts that they will lose if they increase the price. And then instead of writing C squared, what we're going to want to do here to keep it with one variable, because we can only have one variable for graphing, x, we're going to want to change this to p minus 0.8 squared. So what that does for us is it allows us to put this in the graph, because these values, the p's, are the variables. So now that we only have one, we're able to plug it into the graph. So P, the price, times number of donuts sold, minus the amount uh, that the donuts increase. Um, so this right here is a substitute for C squared. So the price increase will be the price minus the original price squared. So what we're going to do here is uh, pull up our handy dandy calculator. Now we're just going to turn it on. All right. So, we're going to sub in x for p, uh, and then again, subbing in x for p minus the point 0.8, and remember to make that squared. And you still need brackets to complete this equation on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and set a window for that, because if you graph it like that, you won't be able to see the top. So we're going to set our max, our y max, uh, it's probably around 7,500. You always want to make sure that it's high enough uh, so that you can see the whole equation. And right there, uh, we can see the whole equation. So what we're going to want to do, because this, um, if you're looking at this as a parabola, uh, the a value is negative, so it's opening downward. So what we're going to want to do is find the maximum here, because that is going to be the global maximum. So we're going to go ahead and go ma maximum. Boom. <clears throat> Now, see, this is where a lot of people may screw up, okay? Because our answer is 1.28. Yeah. Uh, and then our revenue is $6,501, uh, okay?
However, if we just gave this, this would be wrong because we want the re uh, the price to the nearest nickel. All right. So if we gave this, this would be marked wrong as we have not finished the question yet. So what we're going to want to do uh, is we're going to want to round it to the nearest. So that would be 1.3. And you'll value. And this is just easy, so you can set it up there. X equals 1.3. And then this is what the equation would be like if we rounded it to the max. Okay? So now P equals a dollar and thirty cents. Alright? And then from that the revenue changes. Now the revenue is $6,500, bang on. And now, to get the donuts, what you're going to want to do is revenue over the price. So donuts equal revenue over price. You may think of this as like a MVP triangle or whatever. One of those bad things from, uh, yeah... All right, so what we're going to do is just sub it in. Uh, and that is going to get us 5,000 donuts. Now, however, if you had gotten, say, perhaps 5,000 and 0.5 donuts, you would again need to do some rounding because it's not possible to sell 0.5 of a donut. Uh, and then you would need to go back and fix these figures here. Uh, that concludes this lesson.